皆さんこんばんは、町田るいです。2017年のアジアカップ1000ラウンドで吉田選手が足を痛めてしまい、試合が出られない状況になって不安があったんですけど、高田選手がチームのみんなに、今までチームを引っ張ってくれたりゅうさんのためにも優勝しようって伝えてくれて、決勝ラウンドでは予選ラウンドよりも、もっとチームが一つになって戦えた大会だったと思います。決勝の注目ポイントは、えー、後半の水島選手の爆発だと思いますディフェンスが2人来ても決めきるスリーポイント水島選手を打たせようとする周りの動きと決まった時のベンチの盛り上がりに注目してほしいです、えー、予選では負けてしまったオーストラリアにリベンジを果たした試合をぜひ見てください皆さんこんばんはトヨタ自動車アンテロープスの長岡萌子ですアジアカップ2017の思い出は初めての代表でのスタメンでチームの仲間にたくさん支えてもらいながらベスト5をいただくことができましたこれは今となってもすごく貴重な経験だったと思います同期の宮沢藤岡と一緒にコートに立って結果を残せたことはとても嬉しかったですそしてこの決勝戦で大活躍したといえば水島選手ですねこの後水島選手からのコメントもあるので最後までお楽しみにそれではご覧ください。Down nine points with five minutes Three group games and their third knockout game now. I didn't think Japan were going to get here. I thought China would get here with that momentous game last night. My word, we've seen two historic games, if you want, just now in India, and then last night with China losing to Japan. The Opals, Jeff, somebody's got to stop them. And if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be the Japanese team. You don't think that's going to happen. I'm not sure it's going to happen. But you know what? This Japanese team are as resilient as it comes. And anything can happen. I think the bigs of Australia will dominate this game. It was the shooting of Australia that dominated the last one. This will be down to the bigs. Good evening, folks. If you're just joining us, we are in Bengaluru, India. It's the FIBA Women's Asia Cup final, and it's between Japan. And Australia. Australia playing in this great event for the first time. They in New Zealand. And boy, have they made headlines. The Aussies, the Opals making it all the way to the final. But making plenty of headlines as well are Japan. And you see, Fujioka has just come out,、uh, the real star for them at this event. Perhaps right now, the favorites, even if they were to lose、uh, for MVP honors.、Uh, but I'm sure that some of the Australians would have something to say about that if they're going to win this one. Tom Huvas has done a terrific job as head coach of Japan、uh, without Ramu Tokashiki、uh, and with Asami Yoshida injured and、uh, unable to help out yesterday. It remains to be seen if she will play today. It looks like she might actually give it a go, but we'll have to wait and see. For Australia, team bouncing back from last year's quarterfinal disappointment at the Olympics.、Uh, There's only one result acceptable for the Opals. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. They expect to win. They expect to win it all.、Uh, they're ambitious. They've got the talent. They've got the drive. They've got the determination. And here they are, no surprise at all, in the final of their first ever FIBA Women's Asia Cup. And Mick, I don't know about you, but it's a, a team that's found a chemistry from the off, and、uh, it has been impressive stuff, even with their head coach, Sandy Brondello, not able to be at this tournament. Yeah, and Jeff, some would say they haven't been tested yet, so they've not really been in a game where they've been in the wire. The first game against Japan was, what was it, 14 points in the end? n i n points in the end, wasn't it? I think, I think they were tested by Japan, personally. I thought it was a, a tough game. But was it ever a one two point game? I don't think it was, was it? I think it was in the yeah, fourth、right. quarter they were playing catch up and Japan played catch up very, very well. It needed some tough shots to stay at a 10 point lead. Okay, so we're going to have、uh, the playing of the national anthems for both teams, for Japan and Australia.
So the big moments before the big game, Australia and Japan. And we'll be taking a, a look at the rosters and the starting lineups. But before that, we'll have a look at the, uh, the referees. Uh, this is uh, a symbol of excellence, really. Nujaim, Mikhaev, and Benka from Lebanon, Kazakhstan, and India. Mikhaev of Kazakhstan on the far left there. Chin up. The team just lost the Division B final, but I'm sure this will... Uh, <laughs> Interesting, actually, isn't it? We have a Kazakhstan ref and an Indian ref in the final. Well, you liked it when you walked to the gym this morning. You liked the look of her in terms of how she's refereed this tournament. Yeah, absolutely. But Japan, All you have to start on, with uh, number one. Fujiyuka, Fujiyaka, Fuji. yeah. You, you can't go any further than that, Jeff. She will control this game, and that will be Australia's quest to make sure she's not as much of an influence as she was last night against China. And, and in that starting five, you talked about the bigs. Asaki has to play well tonight. Nagaoka has to play well at small forward. Takata has to play well. And Mizushima, Asaki Mizushima bigs. sliding into the starting five again tonight. Uh, but we didn't a point guard, Je uh, Jeff. That's a change because usually they come out with a smaller shooting guard. So I think Miz Miyazawa will be the shooting off guard now. Well, she needs to play well length. tonight. Mansfield was saying in... Uh, vocally that she thinks this is the time for the Opals to come together and uh, really uh, get behind each other. It's a team that's bonded well on this trip. I think the important bit for the Opals is what comes off the bench. And uh, I think in Sarah Blitzov, they have a real uh, powerhouse coming off. But Ebsery and Mansfield will start at guard. Griffin has been the go-to as far as the great starts they've had in recent games. And Snell and Tolo, um, obviously, we don't need to say too much about Belinda Snell. Historically, she's just one of the greats, isn't she? Well, if they haven't come together yet, I would hate to see how good they're going to be if they do come together, because Australia have really, in my opinion, that's been one of their strengths. They've really gelled and played well. Mansfield starting, she's uh, been a, a big talking point. Uh, and Fujioka as well, just been terrific uh, game in and game out. Mansfield. The way she's played, probably played herself into consideration for the All-Star Five. She's a good guard. There's no doubt about it. These two going at each other are top guards in this tournament. Jeff, Australia have never been behind in this tournament. So, therefore, they've never been truly, truly tested. You know, the how far can you dig in to get back into a game? That has not happened. So, in some ways, Japan, that's what they've got to try and do, get them down. So Cheryl Ann Chambers uh, designated as the head coach with uh, Sandy Brandello uh, in the West, but obviously we love Long as well. The uh, the coach and the husband of Brandello is uh, in calling a lot of the shots, and more than anything, Australia demonstrating that they've got a very capable coaching staff, even even with Brandello uh, not here, unless she's uh, phoning in <laughs> updates during the game no absolutely they, they've been uh, they've complimented this team completely there's no been no I don't think there's been a hiccup in uh, any of this uh, tournament for this Australian team but that's up to Japan to try and create some sort of uh, disarray in this Opals team and make a game of it We're in Bengaluru, India. It's the FIBA Women's Asia Cup final between Japan in the red and Australia in the yellow and green. And jumping things off here, the opening tip won by Australia with Tolo. And we'll see if they can draw first blood here. Japan were sky high after their comfort behind win over China. This will probably be a, a tougher task against the Opals. One yes, of the real powerhouses. There's no doubt about it. They came uh, great victory last night. They're going to have to work hard tonight. Yep. Getting out, Edzery, and a shot clock violation to start things off here for the Opals. Mizushima starts for Japan. I thought it was... No, it's Saki Miz Mizushima, and Miyazawa will come off the bench. Yeah. So Saki Mi Mizushima, one of the real surprise inclusions in the national team. Uh, very consistent in the build-up and has played well as the tournament has worn on. There's Fujioka picking right up where she left off last night. My only my only issue with Japan going through Fujioka so much, she picks up a foul, is that you cannot go to Fujioka where everybody else is not involved. And uh, a point guard will 
prove her worth second half, but this is a nice start to the game for Fujioka. She throws it, gets it up on that blackboard so softly. Mansfield, she says, and guess what? Australia trailing, Mick. <laughs> it hasn't happened all tournament. Ebsery now, air ball. And quickly, Mizushima. And Osaki was there, but she was pushed out by Belinda Snell. Wow, great opportunity there for Mizushima. Just uh, not quite concentrate enough. And Ebsery floats in and gets that game level. Well, you notice Fujioka on the inbound pass. It was looking down the floor before she'd even caught the ball, and she knew she's looking for runners quick to get out. Nakaoka. Nagaoka goes, backs up, and a little turnaround, and Tolo goes up and snatches it out of the air. Snell for three. Good! Well, one of the he he heroes, the heroines of Australia's world title win back in 2006. Of course, she led the come from behind win against uh, Brazil. Osaki drives in and misses another one for Japan. And Australia, Yuka Mamiya. Sorry, Jeff. They will keep the pressure up. There's back to back threes for the Opals. That's what I mean about keeping that pressure up. And we're having some scoreboard issues, so we apologize. And the shot is good. I think it's eight to four in favor of. Oh yes, yeah, two two. No way is that. It's eight to four in favor of Australia. Yeah, I think it's an, oh, it's an easy two for Tolo. Jeff, the last pick and roll for um, Japan will play this pick and roll high with Fujioka. I'm not sure they can go 40 minutes with it, but uh, it is such a weapon for them. It's 10 to four. Shell Chambers going over to the scores table to check on what's going on with the score. And Asaki, another turnover. Yeah, it's not 10-2, that's for sure. 10-4, there you go. Uh, Japan need a timeout. 12 to 4 now. So they finally fixed the gremlin. Osaki steps up. Takata gets the rebound. And Fujioka pulls up for the short or mid-ranger. Now Mansfield. And Miyazima picks up Japan's second foul. A little change of pace there from Ebsuri. Just caught uh, Miyazima off guard. And uh, yeah, that was a quick timeout here for Japan. Great start for the Opals, Jeff. They did go behind by the uh, first bucket of the game. But since then, it's been one-way traffic. And you have to love the way they can just turn it on. I mean, Japan felt the uh, force of China last night in terms of their ability to score quickly. Australia exactly the same, get the ball down the floor in a very short amount of time, and they are looking to score all the time. So Griffin with the five points, and Australia, uh, after that quick basket from Fujioka, have come right back. And look much better, look much better, much more confident See, on well, offense. If Fujioka is at her best, is with this high pick and roll. But two or three offenses they've run, it's been a one shot, one one and done deal. And I don't think you're going to beat Australia over 40 minutes with that way you're going to play. So in some ways, it's almost a, a great second half strategy, the pick high pick and roll. And that's how China got beat last night. I think right now they need to go back to a more passing game, more traditional game that involves everybody. And Fujioka's probably the one to get, get it going. Belinda Snell, she's had one three fall today. She misses that one. Yeah. So the penetration, the drive, and Miyazawa misses another layup. Excuse me, meet Mizushima. It's the second foul on seven for Japan, Mizushima. 
There's all sorts of shenanigans with the uh, scoreboard. Yeah, I mean, because just a second ago it jumped to 13. Yeah. And now it's going back to 12. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Wow. Key scored home, folks. And Griffin short. And the long rebound goes out to Belinda Snell. Ebsery. Oh, she was hitting it the other the other day, that shot. Look at the offensive rebounds. And oh, Ebsery's just <laughs> throwing the ball at the referee. She slipped on the floor coming down with a rebound, and that, uh, that was the start of two Japanese players just pouncing on her and getting a uh, held ball. Rui Mishida in the game, number 13 guarded. Well, that puts um, Fujioka, ooh, nice play from Mansfield. That puts uh, Fujioka at the off guard position, takes a lot of heat off the youngster. Nagaoka and dumps it to Takata, and Takata has to go earn it from the line. Now, Olaf Long. He won't be overly perturbed, Jeff, but this high pick and roll can cause all sorts of problems with a quick point guard. And Mashida ran it there. It's very difficult to help off. And uh, when the help comes to the middle, you can dish it to the uh, wings quite easily. That went to Fujioka, then down to Takada. I mean, if you've got a good offensive set, or the idea of a good offensive set is to cause as much mayhem in the defense as possible and uh, Australia we know can do it easily and Japan showing clear signs they can do it Mansfield dribbling around into Tolo who puts it up and another miss Griffin though oh you got a love from Griffin oh goodness me she is so active that is weak side rebounding Jeff from the very place that you need to come from the weak side there she comes in What's it, the pivot now there? It was Miyazawa that needs to uh, prevent her from getting into the lane like that. And she Look got the that. foul too. Oh, wonderful hustle from Tolo, then Griffin. Well, it's been a problem for all of their opponents, including Japan the first time, the offensive rebounds. And look at that. And again, another shot clock, another 14 seconds here. And... The more casts, the more likely you are going to catch the fish, but this time they don't get anything. And quickly, great hustle from Griffin, anticipating the pass from Fujioka. Jeff, there is nobody quicker than Fujioka. I mean, the, there is a trail of yellow shirts. Look at that pass on the money. And uh, only the sprightly play of Griffin to block and save two points. Miyazawa open. No red shirts. Alana Smith in the game gets the rebound. Ebsery, and she was pulling out of bounds. She gets it. And then a reach and a foul by Alana Smith. I'm not sure Smith did too much, but I'll tell you one thing. She stopped a, a possible two points, that's for sure. And what is Tom Huvas uh, disagreeing about? Is he saying that's uh, well, he's probably, potential in sportsman he's like? He's try and pull that one. There's no way. No, I agree. I think it was just a hip, hip nudge, really. Oh. Look at Griffin. Former corn, corn husker. Miyazawa. What a rebound. What a rebound. Griffin is everywhere. A nice break from... Oh, I'm oh, that's good hustle. Maybe Ebsery should have come down and, and looked first, but uh, she thought that coming was wide open. Now, this is, to me, is a good substitution, getting Blitzov in the game. And it just goes to show the enormity of the task for Japan. You get Griffin out, who's been tormenting you, and she's replaced by Blitzovs. It doesn't get any easier. You're almost replacing like for like. Ebsery. Oh, he's oh, she goes down so again. Quick. Wow. This will be Australia ball. Jeff, the center of gravity of a player is so important on defense, and you have to get lower than the offense and 
Fujioka's stance is so low, she can move with such speed. How much has it helped Japan to play Australia so much the last couple of years? And she missed it. Look at that. Alana Smith with the offensive rebound and put back. Yeah, they're getting uh, beasted inside right now, Japan. That's Australia sending bodies to the offensive rebounding boards. Well, Fujioka pulls up and hits the jumper. I think she heard you talk and was trying to get her teammates involved. I tell you, there's a worrying sign for Australia is that when this te Japanese team starts hitting jump shots, they will hurt you. And uh, right now they're not hitting, but that might be uh, an ominous sign there. Mansfield. Now Ebsery gets it to coming. They have to switch. Miyazawa. Difficult pass into the corner. And Miyazawa sort of uh, cutting off that angle. Just need to settle down. I wonder if Tessa Levy might be a good option at point guard here. Just to settle things down at that position, run something, get the ball moving around for the Australians. Fujioka now. Oh, sh changes directions. That's a cut of the shot clock down to seven. Hands it off to Nagaoka. Used every bit of that 24 seconds. Wow. You know, Takata was dead and buried until uh, the cut was made by Nagaoka. And look at the read from Nagaoka. And Nagaoka is hustling all over the place. Levy will come in for Ebsery, so you've got a double point guard in the, in the game the, for Australia. That's a good move. Yep, you saw the cut. Nagaoka, who'd she have 28 points against? Uh, Quarterfinal. So she bounced back from a tough game against Australia, didn't she, the first time yeah. around? Coming. And under a little bit of pressure there, throws it out of bounds. Yeah, Olaf Long will. Uh, I think now he's got nine players in the game. Mansfield's the only one that hasn't come out, so. So he's got Levy and Mansfield in the game yeah, yeah. now. Which and we, we haven't seen that before, double point guard. But it matches up with Japan quite easy, quite well. Well, does anybody match up against Fujioka? That's the question. Look at the pass! pass. Oh, they're going to get an and one! Deeper. Her passing is just to die for, isn't it? Look at yes. this. Whew. It's the backdoor cut from... Uh, Takada that uh, made everything there, but the vision on this girl is incredible. I think they need to change the defense, Jeff. Possibly look at some zone. You might be tempting fate with the shot, but you'll take a lot of the sting out this pick and roll, that's for sure. Well, the coming in the corner, back to Levy. Levy pulls up, mid-ranger. And look at that rebound from Alana Smith. Goodness me. That was out of the top and drawer. The, and the put back Oh, too. boy. And Nagaoka made sure she'd have to go to the line to earn it, but almost. And, you know, Nagaoka's a fault here because she's gone to sleep. Smith's got the rebound, tossed it out, and Smith's kept moving straight away along the baseline and got the ball back again. And ends up being a decent foul. She misses the first. Alana Smith makes the second. A lot of people watching this game all over the world. This is a how good of a FIBA Women's Asia Cup it's been. Look at this. Back out to Mashida. Now Fujioka quickly. Nagaoka. Takata goes up, gets the rebound. And he can't give second shots. That's uh, that's not shouldn't happen at all. But uh, Japan move the ball so quickly. Fujioka again to Mashida. Shot clock winding down. Somebody's going to have to launch it, and she does, and almost makes it. Miyazawa. Four point game. Blitz odds. Great block, Miyazawa. <laughs> Underrated, aren't they? The, the, the uh, bigs in inverted quote marks. Jeff, total's in the game now. Look at that, three blocks for Australia. That's the first for Japan, yeah. yeah. 
she doesn't come out for me until this game's won. Because she, they're just well, you've much got a more dominant formidable player. down low. This is the ball game right here. you got to win. Uh, she put the ball down, and Mashida wrapped it up. Yeah, well, once took it too away. often. The second dribble, you're at, the first dribble for a big is always the easy one. The second dribble, you've got to be careful because everybody's descending on you. How about Japan doing a good job of uh, hanging in there? They're taking a few shots. Jeff, there's some from, ominous signs here. I'm telling opals. you, this is not going to be easy for Australia to win this. I think that's the first time you've used ominous this week. <laughs> it's impressive. Mashida drives in, puts it up off the glass. Ominous indeed. Yeah, again, the high pick and roll. When you've got quick guards, it's a, such a threat. And blitz has no. Japan not able to re Oh, they're going to give it to uh, Japan. I thought Was Japan it hit it out. Anybody's guess really, wasn't it? I wish the folks down under could have seen the uh, Australians uh, watching the India game. They were having a, a party. <laughs> they, they were was, enjoying it? it so much. Yeah. They were loose coming into this game. But now, a little bit tight. Australia leading it by two. Fujioka wants to take it down as much as possible. Oh, look at the play. Look at the play to Nagaoka. Jeff, the I don't know whether you took a good look at that. Final second taken off here. Tessa Levy, she's got to launch it. And it doesn't. And Japan have stormed back to tie it at 17. I say, I don't know whether you took a good look at that last play, but Nagaoka was looking for the, the lob the one side and came back and curled the other side and got it. Just incredible. But again, the same thing. You can make a lob pass and there's no pressure on the ball. There's the early shots. Such a bright start for Australia, and you know, part of the problem. You talked about Tolo; they need her in the game. But what about Griffin? You know, Griffin's in the game. Australia are kind of in the ascendancy. Yeah, no, that's it. That's there's your one-two right there, and you, and you substitute depending on giving them a couple of quick minutes. They're your best four and five on the team. And you know what? I, I think you need to give Snell a lot more time as well. And maybe I'd bring her back here. You know, she is indeed coming back. I said last night at Japan, China, Jeff, when Japan make jump shots, you have to watch out because they live and die by the jump shot. But And Fujioka will get you open. I still think a change of defense for Australia might, might be needed. You've only to take Japan out of a rhythm. Olaf Long, uh, Long with a to say something. All five opals sprinted over. Just to me, that just signals just a team that's uh, got great unity. Yeah, that was good. That was impressive. There was some issue with the commissioner's table, so he wanted to have a quick word while he had the chance. Of second quarter action underway here, the FIBA Women's Asia Cup final between Australia and Japan. Griffin back in the game, and immediately she catches and scores. And I think that's the one player Japan are going to struggle to stop in this game. I really do. Yeah. She's yeah. got that link. Well, the other thing is all eyes will go on Tolo, therefore there'll be more space for, for Griffin. Pass over to Miyazawa. That's going to be short. Takata, though, alertly grabs it. And what is that? Uh, they Something about the shot clock. Yeah, the ball, I don't think the ball hit the rim, did it? That's what the referee's saying. Whether it grazed it or not. See, 
And there's the, the pass high to low. Nice screen for Griffin that the uh, Japanese couldn't cope with. Now they've got to decide what to put on the clock. It's Japanese for six seconds, OK. Well, wait, wait for the referee. Yeah, third referee's not ready. Shot clock's at six, Jeff. So they'll have to uh, get something up quickly here. Oh, and they get a layup. Oh, and Fujioka missed it. Well, they could not have dreamed up a better uh, inbounds play. Where did she come from? She, wherever she came from, like a blur out there. She must have been surprised herself that she was so open. One of those things I think the defense just fell asleep on her. Edsuri dribbling around out to Tessa Levy. And what's the call here? Just a foul on Levy, I think. And uh, eight Takada. I think that's a second foul. First foul. You know, they made a mistake on the, on the scoreboard. Mizushima does have two. And they've uh, realigned it to Takata's first. Okay, so Snell's going to inbound it. And Mashida drives, plays the D, and then Mansfield reaches around. You know, we, we were talking about the importance of having Tolo and Griffin in the game for Australia, but what about the insertion of Mashida? having her in the game, as well as Miyazawa, yeah. and taking uh, Mizushima out. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a heavy... I think they're looking at Fujioka to play close to 40 minutes. Miyazawa there. Ah, oh, look at Miyazawa. She puts Japan back in front. Well, there's your answer. And going 40 minutes with uh, Fujioka at the point is tough, so get Mishida in there to take some, uh, some of the work off, uh, off her shoulders. Belinda Snell off the back of the iron, and Ebsbury flies in to get the rebound. Mansfield now over to Tolo. They'll settle for her taking that. She can hit it, but Absolutely. you'd rather take that than getting something else closer to the basket, perhaps. Fujioka now handling the ball. Last Look at the switch, the easy switch there. Griffin and Fujioka now. Nope. Here we go. He might take Tolo the one-on-one -on -one here. Oh. Shot clock winding down, and that was a strange-looking shot from Mishida. And now Japan with their biggest lead of the game, three points. Australia doing the right thing, though, Jeff, running it down, running it back straight away as quick as they can. Ebsuri gets into no-man's land, passes it back outside. Oh, look at Snell go behind the back. Are you kidding me? The veteran gets it back. Again, gets it back. Tolo, and they're playing keep away from Japan. And now they get it to Griffin. Oh, she's not going to be stopped, Griffin. Wow. You know, and did somebody take a shot to the face? Is yeah, that yeah, Miyazawa? Absolutely. They love to play Tolo up high to use her as handoff and screens. It's the modern game, Jeff. But there's an element to say, well, put her in the low post, run her a screen because the effect is it gives more space for Griffin to come in, make cuts, get offensive rebounds. There is your warrior right there, Kelsey Griffin. She is. An absolute, you know, stalwart performance already. Yeah. She, what an addition to the team. She doesn't know when to stop. She's been their, their best, most consistent player. Yeah, absolutely. In this tournament. Here's the change of... Uh, I thought it was a change of defense, but yes, it is. Nagaoka for three, short. Look at Griffin. There she goes. Now, Off she goes. She can go all the way, and this time, though, she tries to do too much. She yeah. fell asleep. You can't fall asleep with Japan. Back to Takata. Oh, and then she comes back and gets the block. Takata fell asleep. Griffin's everywhere. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping. Belinda Snell, pump fake. That's more like a Belinda. Yeah, that's probably the better shot for Snell to take. Get a feet set. That's the one dribble, nice and smooth. Just got a shot of uh, Grant, head of the Australian fan club here with his uh, inflatable kangaroo. There's Nagaoka. Mashida 
Oh, she lost it, or did Mansfield knock it out of her hands? Anyway, Australia have it. Oh, Griffin inside to Tolo. Oh, that was big time. Big okay. time from okay. Big Tolo. So tell me how you're going to stop that. That's You've got to make more use of that. That's an easy two for Tolo. Her effect is uh, impressive in there. Nagaoka for three. Just what the doctor ordered for Japan. Well, you serve up that high pick and roll. You left Fujioka dance in the middle of that paint, and you got all sorts of problems. You better believe you do. Kawamura is going to come in for Japan. And Belinda Snell misses from three. Didn't make the Olympic squad last year. A little bit of uh, controversy there. Oh, pump fake. And Takata puts Japan back in front. Yep, when this team makes jump shots, watch out. That's back-to-back Jays. Hey, but Jeff, you got a last problem, last shot from Belinda Snell. It was from a handoff from Tolo. Every shot you take, you should have some idea of where you're going to get some offensive rebounders from. Because Tolo's giving you a handoff high and Snell takes the shot, there's no real opportunity for the your tallest player to get in there for an offensive rebound. So I love the shot from Snell. It's a good shot for it to take, but where does the offensive rebound and prowess come from? Does that mean that Griffin's got a barrel in there from somewhere else? I don't know. But Belinda Snell, two of eight uh, from the floor tonight, one of five from three-point range. She missed a couple of shots, you remember, down low when she was uh, yep. kept getting the ball back. Plenty of options uh, Australia have not tried, but you get the feeling he may not go that deep to his bench tonight. Just wonder well, if we might see Matty Garrick. Well, he got nine in the first quarter, so I think that signaled to him when he saw the school and how, when you see how well Japan are playing with the five or six players they've got, seven maybe, then you realize that uh, there is Garrick too in the game. So that's the 10th player in for Australia. Yep, so Garrick does check in. We haven't seen Laura Hodges yet, another member of the uh, well, Kunek, world title too, so winning team. In the game so far, yeah. A lot of Japan fans here tonight. Matty Garrick. China's already won the uh, bronze medal game. They beat Korea. And Snell again at the line. Boy, that's a champion right there. Shot. She's not. She's not hitting her shots, but she's not going to stop shooting. Ties it up at 27. Here's the zone for Australia. Perhaps Thorpe might see a change of defense here. They'll chase around oh, as much the as they possible. Into the corner. Nagaoka. And and again, the... new 14. You run a zone to protect your basket in terms of rebounding, but sometimes you can be too static. Mashida's going to take it and make it. How about that for a zone? Yeah. I don't think you stay too long in the zone, but it, it's, uh, it's worth a try. Japan in the man. Mansfield, shot clock winding down. Snell, she looks at the shot. No, it goes off the hands of Alana Smith. And a Japan can get a basket here it'll be their biggest lead of the game look at the turnover six now for Australia and Jeff this is without Tolo in the game too I'm, I'm gonna go back to that point but I might be proved wrong well she's coming back oh, wow that's interesting yeah and Fujioka that time trying to do too much good D from Smith Mansfield brings it hands it off to Griffin what a, oh, move. What a move what a move but she misses and Smith did a great job crashing the boards, but doesn't collect it. One of her coaches uh, watching tonight at Stanford, Vandiver, thinking, that's my girl. She gets a well-earned break. She won't be on that bench long, I'll tell you. Outstanding effort from Kelsey Griffin. So Fujioka with three and a half minutes to go now. Ooh, traveling on Nagaoka. You know, usually around this time, or by this time in these games with Australia, that you know, it's kind of like the pressure is coming, the pressure of the pressure, and the dam's about to, to burst. 
and you don't have that feeling right now. Japan seemed to be controlling a little bit of the tempo. Although Japan would like to speed it up. And I got one word for you. Okay, give it to me. Fujioka. You know, because... That's you're, the name. You're, you're right. right. Because Australia, their defense is out to put pressure on oh, the other team's yes. offense and take away their offense. When you have a player, and if you haven't seen Fujioka play, you fans back in Australia before, we're talking about it being one of the best guards in the world outside of America. That's what we said yesterday in that game. That's how good she is. So when you've got a player that good, the, that player then dominates the defense a lot of the time. And how many times have you seen the defense dominate in the first 17 minutes for Australia? Very couple of times, three or four times, she's danced them through every pick and roll at the higher that part, at the top of the key, and she's been instrumental in this three-point lead for Japan. I'll tell you what, I was, was at the Eurobasket. Like uh, I was at the Eurobasket women uh, in Prague and Radish Kralova early this summer, back in June. There was not a better pure guard in terms of ball handling, uh, passing. You know, I'm talking, and I'm including uh, with champion Spain. I mean, she is a, she's a different, cu she's a cut above, really. Fujioka. Fujioka, oh, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely, yeah. There's nobody in Europe better than her. And Belinda Snell travels. And just to double check, I'm going to go back and look <laughs> to make sure I haven't left well, you've got a pooper of France, have you? Jeff, I'm going to go back to Tolo in the low post. It's, it's, a, it's a weakness for Japan. You've got to try and exploit it. Oh, good defense wow. uh, from Milana Smith. Beautiful. Slot lazy pass. They should have numbers here. Beautiful Mansfield pass. to Tolo. And how, and how about that? You make one mistake, and Australia punish you with uh, a three-point play. This is beautiful play from Mansfield. Just over a little pick and roll. She knew that uh, Tolo was going to follow through. I just think by getting Tolo in the low post with a bit of uh, bit of ground gained, maybe, and you, you're going to get uh, a lot of success out of it. Well, Tolo did a good job hustling down the floor. Tie game, Jeff. Yep, we're all nodded. 2:45 to go in the first half. Mizawa and Snell looks up. Kawamura, if she had turned around, and now for the second consecutive time down the floor, Kawamura has been kind of in a difficult spot and has given away a, a potential three-point play. Yeah, she could have intercepted the pass if she turned around, but Smith dribbles with a left hand twice and then up with a right hand. The transfer from one side to the other is uh, is pretty special. Another one that's coming through the ranks that's going to be a great contributor in years to come. Nagaoka. Mashida. And Japan missing some shots now. And a foul on Mansfield. How many is that? Well, they're fortunate, too, because uh, her second. Mia Zahu is flying in. She just turned the corner on that offensive rebound. Score with the left hand, too. So they've. Uh, the referee's whistle was fortunate there for Australia. Another turnover from Mashida, and Cumming has it, and Cumming goes straight to the basket. That's a that's a very tough call on Nagaoka, I think. Yeah, this is a this is a clean block. I mean, this is any contact is is by the offense, and uh, what well, it looked like she was kind of going away from it. Watch this, but she sticks her leg out. No, no, she doesn't. I mean, there's yeah, there's contact, but well, she you know there was contact. Yeah, 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 no doubt about it. I mean, you, you, how many, is it a call that's going to get called in the fourth quarter? Possibly not. So Australia now extend their lead to four. So a little bit of a drought here. It's a 7-0 run for Australia. Drought for Japan. Uh, 
Nagaoka for three. Rims out. Yeah, they've gone a bit uh, cold from the perimeter, haven't they? Not made a jump shot for a couple of minutes. Alana Smith for three. This is everything except the backboard. And what is the call there? Mansfield. Mansfield. Foul. Is that her third? Yeah. It's a what a time to pick that up. And, and such a strange way to do it as well because the. Are the, they aware? I don't yeah. think Australia's aware. They better get Levy in. They're going to leave her in the in the game with three fouls. Yeah, you're right, Jeff. Now they've told her now. Here you go. Get in there quick, Jessa. Well, Ebsery's going to come in. Yeah. Mansfield knows. She better know she can't reach. Wide open. Mashida short. And Mansfield has it. Australia has owned really the last three minutes. Griffin and Nagaoka. And that is just uh, That's a third very two. poor defense. Mouli's quick off the bench. He'll be in in a minute. Mouli number 30 for Japan. How in the world? You know, if Nagaoka could think in the grand scheme of things, what she's just done, she picks up her third and she puts Griffin on the line. Well, she's trying to play defense, Jeff. I mean, she's trying to slide to cut off the baseline, which is what you're supposed to do. I mean, you know, didn't move her feet quick enough. You can, didn't get the foot on the baseline. Griffin makes one of two. We only know how valuable that is when the second half rolls around, don't we? What's that? The how critical the foul was. And three-pointer finally falls for I Japan. She's been uh, inspirational, Miyazawa. Pass into Griffin. Another one for her. And she's not been too far short, is she, Griffin? Just uh, holding things together for Australia. And Fujioka. And she had the lane. She's had a couple of times when she could have scored Chef, a few you times. Think, you don't think she she leaned in for to draw the foul and, and perhaps deserved it? Last shot here at the half. Edzuri gets the pick. The switch now. And tough shot from coming. What about coming? What a way to finish the half for Australia. They go up 39 33 with just a terrific drive from coming. I'll tell you she what, the drive was right. great, but the pull up was, in, was uh, pretty phenomenal, too. The uh, coordination to get that up in the air off two feet as well. There's your stats right there, Jeff. Uh, if you look at the shooting for Japan, Four threes, nine of 21 inside, but 13 of 25, two threes only for Australia. I think if Australia open up like they did in the group game, this one will uh, escape from Japan very quickly, but uh, right now it's as close as it gets. Well, Australia lead at 39-33 over Japan here in Bengaluru, India, the final of the FIBA Women's Asia Cup at halftime.
39-33, the Australian Opals on top of Japan here in the final of the FIBA, FIBA Women's Asia Cup. Bengaluru, India, interesting part of the world, uh, certainly the subcontinent uh, for this great event. And uh, Australia making their first appearance in a FIBA Women's Asia Cup day in New Zealand. New Zealand finished sixth. Australia are in the final. I haven't seen much of that player there, Asaki. She's uh, formerly uh, known as Yuka Mamiya, but she got married, so now she's Yuka Osaki. Maybe she'll have more of a role to play in the second half. Uh, a lot of a lot of interesting uh, developments in the game, and uh, you know the cream kind of rises to the top. And and Tolo uh, certainly has been a big player for Australia. Mariana Tolo, and uh, she's a player, Nick, that you think needs to be on the court. She's got seven points, five rebounds, and and a block shot and a steal in 14 minutes and 44 seconds. Yeah, oh, definitely. There's no doubt about it, Jeff. A, uh, a, a question, you know, I'm a low post guy, so I like low post basketball, and when you've got someone you can play back to the basket, look at the way China have just developed their low post game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm all for this modern style handoff and pick and rolls by the bigs up the top, but at some point you need to get offensive rebounding and you need to get your big in a position where she can score. And I know Tola can score low, she's a good player. Get one of these Japanese defenders on her back time and time again and, and let the, everybody else go to work. Kelsey Griffin just continues her remarkable uh, debut for Australia. 14 points, five rebounds, three block shots. And how about the captain for Japan, Maki Takata? Nine points, five rebounds, and uh, Manami Fujioka, she, she started well, and she's uh, now got four points, five assists, three rebounds, uh, just two of six from the floor. And uh, one of the problems uh, that we saw right at the end, uh, Nagaoka picked up her third foul. She's a very important player for Japan. She's got seven points, and also the uh, point guard Lauren, Ma Lauren Mansfield for Australia, who's been terrific in this tournament. She's got six points, and uh, she's also just picked up her third foul late in the first half. Jeff, here we go. Last uh, 20 minutes of basketball, the Asia Cup. Probably the last 20 minutes will be the best, I'm sure. And oh. second half action underway in Australia. Almost come up with a steal. How unfortunate and was that, eh? But then to Snell, big smile on her face, she knows that was close. And if Japan didn't know it, they better be ready because Australia are ready to turn it up a notch. Look at that. Yeah, I think you just need to get somebody else open, maybe me as. Mizushima seven will come up and get open this time. Mizushima, not that influential in the first half. Back in the game, and Nagoka in with the three fouls. And well read by coming the pass from Fujioka. Yeah, he just sensed Australia want to just uh, crank it up one notch here defensively. Just put a lot of pressure on this ball. Takata takes the inbounds, hands it off to Fujioka. And nice pass to the cutter, Takata, but Takata missed. Yeah, good work from Ebsery. Just came enough to bother the shot there of Takata. Interesting they started with Ebsery at the point here, second half, Jeff. Yeah, well, Mansfield's got the three fouls, and Griffin gets inside, and oh, she missed, but look at that, she gets the rebound. And decides to take it back out. Belinda Snell rims out. Man and uh, Griffin again. And boy, Japan live dangerously, but they don't fall further behind. Oh, wow, Griffin just works. How hard does she well, work? Look at Fujioka. The blur over to Mizushima. Good, Japan coming back. And now the pressure. And look at the players on the ground. And Snell was able to get down and hold on to it, so the possession arrow goes to the Opals. Ebsery can't believe she walked into that uh, mini trap. 
Very fortunate there, Emsry, to come out with an Australian ball still. And Griffin tries to be strong and uh, for the second consecutive time. I'm not sure how many times we've seen that in this tournament. Griffin uh, has attacked the basket a few times and hasn't come away with points. Yeah, the, no, the Japanese defense is holding strong, that's for sure. They've just been uh, just as tough defensive as Australia are. Now she's going to go left and nowhere to go. Turnover by Fujioka. Here's the low post game, Jeff. And Takata steps in there and bumps uh, Tolo. Just wonder whether we'll see a lot more of this. Uh, just pump it in low. Three fouls on Takata. See, and that's the benefit of one time in the low post for Tolo. You get a. Uh, the coach Osaki. has to make a decision now. Osaki has got to play a part in this game. The veteran, formerly um, Yuka Mamiya, now Yuka Osaki. Coming. Travels. You know Ramu Takashiki must be watching this game thinking, I wish I could be there. Just this game. This is the big stage. She likes the big occasion. Yeah, she oh. definitely uh, adds Quick. something to this team, that's for sure. This is a very big team that's going a long way. Both of them, really. Oh, nice play. And Takata well, thought about it. Didn't want it, did she? Oh, beautiful play. Oh, and another missed layup from Fujioka. Just got rid of it out of her hands a bit too quick. What if she thought the, uh, the shot block might come away? Well, we've been singing her praises, but she has missed a couple of shots tonight. This is where she's dangerous in the open floor. Now, Machine's going to check in if she checks in for Fujioka. And Takata from the corner. Nagaoka comes in and. Tolo's got this foul. Yep. Just uh, raked across the wrist. Just look at the scoreline. Because uh, I don't think Australia have scored this half. It's 39 33 at the break. The only difference is a three from Mizushima. All the time, Australia don't put, uh, they keep Japan hanging around. It, it, it plays right into the hands of the Japanese, as same as last night's game. It's the first time we've seen Fujioka take a seat in a while. Um, also, coming has gone out. Blitzovs is in the game now. And Nagaoka. Gets it back to one. Well, you wonder why Blitzoff was uh, only played four minutes the first half. She was caught out there. Got to get in a lower stance and just make sure she doesn't get beaten off the dribble. Ebsery open on the wing. It's good. The three. That's a tough shot. Big time shot from Ebsery. Well, if you're going to be out there, you got to take it. Just wonder whether Mansfield's not a good option right now, Jeff. Three fouls are not. Get a natural point guard in. Ebsery shooting the ball well, therefore, uh, get her to the off guard position. Look at this. Yep. Not and Mizushima, another three pointer. So she's saving her best for the second half. Wow. This is uh, definitely heating up to a good one. And Griffin this time gets it to go. What a cut. What a cut. Round the corner, two screens. And uh, soft touch from Kelsey Griffin. Here comes Mansfield. I'd be interested to see who they take out. I think, I think Snell might come out here. And that ball goes out of bounds. So nine on the shot clock. So you check this. Every's just made a jump shot, Jeff. And you bring her out. out. Yeah. Snell's job is to shoot jump shots. Remember remember how Australia were hitting their jump shots the other day against Japan? Yeah. And we were talking about could nine, they have nine threes? Would they have beaten them without it? Well, well we talked about plan B, didn't we? Look at that thing. Mizushima! Goodness gracious me, what a first tournament for her. 
for Japan. Tolo turns. Wasted Rebounds dribble, Jeff. Kata. Wasted dribble in the low post. And now out to Griffin. Goodness gracious me, Griffin. World class, folks. We talked about the second 20 minutes being the best, and it is not uh, disappointing nah. at all. Uh, Mashida. Oh, not often you see uh, a ball fall like that in front of the Opals, and they don't get it. Now Mashida. That's tough. Pick it up. You got to pick it up. Mansfield, you want that rebound? <laughs> That's tough. Nishida, a wide open look. Nobody closed out on it. The rebounds there are a straight up margin of 12 ahead. Oh, look at this. Oh, what strength from Blitzavs. Almost, she turned a potential turnover into a layup. Yeah, you know, Japan had read that play. They've run it a couple of times, Australia. They'd read it and switched it. Almost turned it over. Osaki is going to come in. Surely not going to keep Fujioka. Also, Lana Smith is going to come back in. Pass. Mizawa. Oh. Belinda Snell for three. And the pass to Miyazawa. She puts oh. it up. And the fourth foul on Mansfield. That's a killer. That's a killer blow for the Opals there. What a turnaround. And Edsbury is going to have to come right back in. Look at this. Oh, that's a tough call on Mansfield. Oh, I a, mean, just. You don't want to say a terrible call. A tough call is being polite, Jeff, but uh, yeah, I yeah. don't think Let's there's just any leave it at contact. That. <laughs> Goodness me. And coming in for Snell as well. So Mansfield. that luxury of putting Ebsery to the two spot has gone in a uh, flash there. With well, Australia coach uh, telling Mansfield, just put your hands up. Don't reach in. You give the referee the chance did coach. to make the call. And sure enough, you gave me watching, coach. I did. Defense! 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 49 apiece. What a final for the FIBA Women's Asia Cup. Defense! And Blitz Ives drives in again. This time uh, misses everything. Osaki with the rebound. Mashida now. And pass. quick pass. And another missed layup. How in the world? Tom Ovas can't believe it. Head coach of Japan. He's looking around at his bench. Two-time defending champions, Japan. Trying to get a third. And it's Griffin. And Osaki with the big rebound and the foul on Blitz Ives. And that is now the third team foul in Australia with three and a half minutes to go in the third. Olaf Long looking around to his assistants. He's uh and Levy's going to come in at the point, so uh, I'm not sure who's going to give way there. Would that be uh, Ebsery, maybe? Or maybe they'll, they'll downsize, perhaps. And Miyazima fouled while shooting a three-pointer. Yeah, Cummings at fault there. There's no, there's no way you can look and try and block that shot. All you can do is bother it. And now Tessa Levy will come back in. Miyazawa gets a breather. And a downsize. Blitzoff is the one that has to pay out of that big lineup. And Mawuli comes in as well. Evelyn Mawuli. Born to uh, her parents are Ghanaian, but she's born and raised in Japan. Jeff, a problem for Australia is that uh, with uh, Fujioka on the bench, Japan are going to take possibly a three-point lead here. And how about how about the X factor that goes by the name of Saki Mizushima? Well, goodness she, gracious! She didn't start the first four games. I think she's started. was almost a complete non-factor. Yeah. And she just keeps pushing those points up. She's carrying them offensively here in the second half. She's three of three from three-point range, and now she's just hit three free throws while. Being fouled. Playing the defense out of Edsbury right now. Edsbury just backs up and doesn't get the friendly roll. Now Mashida. Time for Tolo. Here she comes. Oh, what defense from Tessa Levy. 
She just takes that ball away. I think Mawuli's just tripped Ebsaris. He's gone over this pick and roll. This will be on the 3 0 Mawuli. Probably not a bad foul. Second foul on Japan in the quarter. The first foul for Mawuli. Now Griffin comes out. Tolo comes back in. A quick break for Griffin. She's by far the best uh, Opal on the floor, I think, in terms of effort. Jeff, I, I go back to Tolo again. I, I loved it when she got the ball in the low post. I wonder if they're going to get the ball to her now in the low post. Well, she's going to set the high pick and roll. Watch this. Here she goes. Nope. Coming. Open. Off the rim. Now Machida. And this is where Japan, certainly if Fujioka were in the game, would be probably a little more dangerous. Well, she's going to come in very rested. That's a bad sign. And oh, now no. the second consecutive time coming fouls the three-point shooter. I'd love to see a replay of this and see whether there was contact. Two fouls, both on three-point shooters. The last one gave Japan the three-point lead. Let's have a look at this. Uh, she got her on the right on the, arm. Yeah, on, on the, the elbow. On the elbow, yeah. Crucial mistake. <laughs> Grant's not happy, the Australian fan behind us. <laughs> <laughs> he says he still loves love the ref. <laughs> and O'Willy makes the first one. He didn't have the benefit of the instant replay that we've got. The Japanese fans happy they've made the trip to uh, Bengaluru. Some of you may know it as Bangalore. Jeff, how happy, is, second. How happy is Coach Tom Hovas going to be with this length of time with his best player on the bench? And now they're going to have a six-point lead if all things being Ooh. equal here. But let me ask you this. Uh, might Fujioka be tired a little? She played a lot of minutes yesterday. No, look at her. She's, she's clapping away. That, that, she doesn't get tired. That's uh, okay. She'll go forever. You know, this is the most adversity, obviously, that Australia have faced. A little bit of foul trouble in the team. This is it. You're right. Uh, they're trailing now. How are they going to respond? Down six. That basket gets a little bit smaller in situations like these. Oh, Smith is going to step back and take a three. Jeff, jump shots on, drop in. What do you do? Get you it inside. You go inside, especially when you're big and strong. And Mizushima, oh, oh, look at Tolo just take it away. Another steal. She read it. Tetsalevi. And now Snell. And they go inside that time, and Alana Smith can't get it. Look at the hustle from Levy. But she saves it in bounds to Mashida. Triggers a break. Did you see Mawuli just go after that ball? Just uh... And it goes to Osaki. And she is fouled by Belinda Snell. The Opals. Well, Jeff, Japan, fast break. Where does the ball go? Inside. And good things happen when you get the ball inside. Look at this. Is she better off that. not saving that? Absolutely, yep. Okay, so. Look at Takata run, Osaki run the lane. Look at the bounce pass down. Almost an N1, too. Well, Snell had to uh, commit the foul there to prevent the shot, the basket. And the Opals have been so good in this tournament. But if you look, see the Griffin with the 17 points, eight rebounds, Ed through with the four assists. You go back to the group phase. Now, we've talked about this. <laughs> what if Australia, unlike in the group phase, in the group phase they hit their threes? Would they have 12 three-pointers? And you're and you were saying and, uh, they'll find another way to beat you. Well, you're, they're going to have to find another way. Uh, oh, that's exactly right, Jeff. Because the, the uh, I don't know what's the three point percentage. Did you say it already? What are they? Uh, two for something. Yeah, they're not. Emsry made the third one, I think. They're four of seventeen. Four of seventeen. So they're not going down. What the uh, nine for something? Nine for sixteen in the group games. You're exactly right, Jeff. And, and this is the test of this team right now. Now, if any team can withstand pressure like this, it's Australia. I don't I mean, think they're going to come back and win this with jump shots. Put it that way. Yeah. They're going to have to find Kelsey Griffin coming in, finding offensive rebounds. I still think Tolo in the low post.
provides them with uh, pressure on that Japanese defense. Okay, so it's Saturday morning in the U.S. In you, Phoenix, what time is it? Expecting a phone call? Yeah. I'm just wondering if uh, Coach Brandello is watching. If you are, we hope that uh, you are uh, enjoying the, the game. Eight, it's an eight-point game now. Is. And what a cut. And the foul, two shots. Well, no better person to get the ball to in Griffin, really, because she makes such strong cuts. And Tolo up high making that pass is a good angle from uh, very high down to low. Griffin, 18 points. Yeah, she's... For my money, she's their MVP in this tournament. But, you know, big plays need to be made here for Australia in this game. And of course, she's also got the game high. So whoever decided to put her in the team, good thinking. <laughs> she's... Yeah. She's pretty good. And they're going to this high pick and roll again. And Takata back to Rui Mashida. I don't know why you want to switch to go this. Here. This is one-on-one one for uh, Mashida here. Oh, tough shot. Just because you can beat Tolo off the dribble, she's going to be give a, a wall to shoot over. Yeah, in some ways you're better off pulling up for jump shot, aren't you? Or at least tempting the jump shot. Now, is this ball going to go down low, Jeff? Well, you think it should. Ebsery drifts in over to Griffin, and they just have no answer for Griffin. Absolutely tremendous. And Mizushima drives in, and she makes it with the left hand. Continues to uh, to show why she deserved that place in the team. Wow. Wasn't even at the Olympics last year. Never played for Japan before. Had a great season. The coach has uh, seen her play. She won a starting place in her team in, in Japan. And here she is making shots like this. Nice play from uh, Australia just now. They went high low and uh, Mawuli came flying over to help out. So whoever Mawuli is guarding, I think it's Snell. He's, I think she came over and told them, listen, my man is helping big time i'm going to be wide open 14 fouls now on japan you don't want to foul oh traveling on snell so 3.9 seconds remain you put fujioka in here <laughs> he's the only person to get down there in 3.9 seconds you say absolutely mashida <laughs> oh uh, mashida well she's pretty quick herself i think she'd probably uh match Fujioka and Fujioka goes to the bench to bring some water for her teammates they lead it 59 53 Japan after three and the shooting stats look at that Australia four of 17 from deep Japan seven of 18 Mizushima has been terrific. Nagaoka has been terrific. But it's been Mizushima in the second half who's made the real difference. Uh, she now has 14 points at halftime. Saki Mizushima had no points. So she had 14 third quarter points. And four threes, was it? I think it is four three, threes. She had three, uh, three threes. threes. And then she got fouled shooting the three. And got three free And then she had the drive. Yeah. That's Fujioka time, Jeff. Um, you know, who's uh, going to stand up? You got the, the Mansfield with the, the foul trouble. 
You know, she's been dynamic for yeah, Australia, she, but she hasn't scored. She won't be a factor, I don't think, in the game anymore. I'm not sure we'll see her. Tessa Levy. Tessa Levy out there. Jeff, I used to do fronts, as you have over the years. I always thought the fourth quarter belonged to a young gentleman called Tony Parker. I used to call it Tony Parker time. I wonder if this is Fujioka this time. Fujioka time. Yeah, they're going to have to stop her right now because she's going to be dynamic this uh, fourth quarter. If they don't play special attention to it. Well, fourth quarter underway now. Fujioka. Oh, well, Ram she turns it over with defense her first. from Griffin. She looks exhausted, Jeff. Kelsey Griffin. And she's played a lot of minutes. Playing for the Opals. Six points. The difference. Belinda Snell. And what just a Herculean effort from Griffin. Unbelievable. Only red shirts in there and one yellow shirt. And it's the yellow shirt that Do comes down with the ball. Numbers? She's terrific. Rebounds she, for her? Yeah, she has got ten rebounds now. Yeah. Belinda Snell. Tessa Levy. Will Australia go inside? Levy pulls up, and what clutch shooting that was from Tessa Levy. Yeah, that's outstanding. Levy, Levy looks like she's struggling a bit, Jeff. Looks like she's limping. Levy. Yeah. Wasaki hands it back to Fujioka. Oh. And a misread there, miscommunication. And now hmm. Fujioka has three turnovers. Maybe Hovas left her on the bench too long. Maybe struggling, Jeff. But Nagaoka has been on the bench all this time as well. Maybe has gone out. I'm not sure what she's done. She's limping. Yeah. You spotted it. I didn't see it. And with Mansfield now with four fouls, wouldn't it be something if she turned it on? Only coming in with the injury to uh, when to she Levy. made the jump shot, she went back with a little limp. I wonder whether she came down. Man, oh, Griffin goes in and earns a trip to the line as well. Absolutely carrying Australia on her back. 23 points. The speed. And to Takata go picks up number Takata. four yeah. and has to leave. Jeff, you're right about MVP. If Australia turned this around, I can see her getting it. If Japan win, I can see Fujioka getting it. Well, the way Mrs. Jima is playing in the second half, if she keeps turning it on, she might end up getting uh, some votes for the All-Star 5. Look at Fujioka. And great help once again by Tolo. Her defense is terrific. Hovas is complaining about something. Probably he wants a foul on that. Uh... Has Japan scored this quarter yet? No. Nagaoka. Boy, that was a tough shot. And big now, chance for Australia now, Jeff. Incredible. They can take the lead. They look like they are in big trouble. Down eight. And here they are hanging around. The Opals, they don't run away. They take it on. And Polo has put them back in front. Japan have not scored in the quarter, and Australia right now in the fourth quarter on a 7-0 run. Again, Tolo, oh, it's just so easy, isn't it? And Japan just falling asleep on defense. And isn't it basketball straight game when you've got uh... Fujioka has dominated so much of the game. He rests her, brings her out. He finds the five on the floor are doing so well. They get a nine-point lead. I think it was a nine or eight-point lead. And then all of a sudden, he puts his best player back in. She makes two errors back-to-back. -back, and Australia right back in it. Fujioka's not been nearly as uh, influential tonight as she was against China or as she was the first game against Australia. It, uh, looking at her numbers, what are her numbers? I mean, I just think she's four points, three turnovers, six assists. I mean, I thought um, the first half she was outstanding, but she's two of seven yeah. from the floor. But yeah, I think I think she was so good yesterday that you almost expect her to duplicate it. And interestingly, she comes out of the game. So yeah. Fujioka's uh, 
star has fallen just a little bit for Coach Hovas. 23 years of age. So it's back to Mashida. Mizushima. Mizawa. Shot clock down to three. Mizushima. Short. And Nagaoka gets the rebound. Now to Asaki. And charge is called on Asaki. Great defense. And it's uh, Griffin. Griffin, who else? Jeff, I've got to tell you something. I don't think Japan can win unless they got Fujioka on the floor, which is good for good. Oh, look at that. Right, well, she right took in the one face. for the yeah. team there. It's great news for Australia now. Can they make cap can they capitalize here? Well, they haven't been able to stop Tolo. They haven't been able to stop Griffin. And now Belinda Snell pulls up and misses the jumper. Why does Snell take that shot? Don't know. When you've got especially Griffin and Tolo, and then good D. You've got success going inside, haven't you? And Miyazawa loses it out of bounds. Tom Hovast looking up. I know he's, he knows he needs to get Fujioka in the game, sitting it down for a split second, but uh, straight out again, I'm going to say again, need to take advantage of her on the bench. Momentum is with them right now. Four turnovers uh, in this fourth quarter against Japan. Griffin spins, turns, class. How, how about that? What a move. What a oh, she's, move. Got, she's got all the moves. It doesn't matter where she is. She's shaking and baking. Uh, the pick frees up Mashida, And she's, boy, this Japan team can't seem to score here in the fourth quarter. And the pass back to Osaki. Now Nagaoka and a foul on Snell. And Takata's going to come back in. First team foul for uh, Australia, which is good news. Griffin has 26 points here. Only two players in double figures. As Tolo has 11 as well. She might get the MVP if uh, Australia don't even win the game. But yeah. right now, it looks like they will. Long way to go, obviously. 6.45. Mizushima. Go! Another blow for Mizushima. Well, I don't, I don't care if she's on anybody else's All-Star 5. She's going to be on mine the way she's played tonight. <laughs> the biggest game of the tournament. She has come to play. Griffin. And that, not what we expect from her. Yeah, she's been doing her damage down low. Completely out of sync, wasn't it, that three? Uh, sorry, that shot from Griffin. Can you believe Mizushima? No. Look at that shot. I mean, she has hit in the second half 4-5 from three-point range. And she also got fouled and made three free throws. Oh, a little bit out of control there, Nagaoka. And Griffin stepped in too late, the referee says. So that would have been Nagaoka's fourth. Grant's at it again. His cry was, what are you seeing? I presume he's talking to the referee. Coming in and Snell out. So Snell leaves. Uh, and now Nagaoka misses the free throw with a chance to put Japan back in front. Snell's had a tough shooting night. Three of 14 from the floor, one of eight from three point range. And Japan go back on top by one. Oh, fortuitous. Ball slipped through the hands and fell right to Griffin. Mansfield looking at Tolo down low. Look at the D. They knew it was coming. Now Nagaoka and Mashida. Mizushima goes baseline. Passes it back out to Mizushima or to Mashida. And posting up down low and Tolo wow. once again. Quick to come over, wasn't she? Yeah. She has such great recognition. Jeff, you, you have to ask me, tell me why uh, they don't get Griffin in that low post position again where she scored too easily last time. That's what I would do. Mashida. Whew. Tough pass. Nagaoka turns. And again, a little out of control. And 
Australia uncharacteristically turn it over. I think that ball must be a bit slick. It's gone through a few hands. There's a lot of sweat. Yeah, a minute or so, yeah. Five and a half minutes remaining. Hovas. What's he saying? He's uh, politely arguing that certain calls should be made. Now Mashida. Nagaoka to Takata. And she was fouled. Yeah, she totally made just her got, move. Just got caught out coming a little slow to cover Takata. Enough long now. You know, now you feel Jeff, Australia two or three minutes ago had everything going for him. Now Japan your sense of just grasp momentum back. Zone here for Australia. Each team with uh, three team fouls. Ooh, good call from Olaf Long. They go to the zone, gets a bad shot out of Japan. Mansfield drives in. Oh, that was a crazy shot. What was she looking for there? Now, Mashida. Quickly, Mizushima for three. Go! Fifth three pointer of the second half. And Japan. Now lead by four. Griffin needs to dig deep. She needs to post up. Ebsere gets the foul. What a gritty play. Yeah, what a move. I think for Osaki has just gone and covered Tolo at the last minute. There's the Look three from Mizushima. Mizushima. Talking about bring the house, there's so many fans here supporting. Look at this, Osaki just backs off. That means that Ebsery gets the lane in. And it was Nagaoka who now has four fouls for Japan. So a little bit of foul trouble for both teams. And it's uh, Japan still on top, but just by one point. Big, that was a big answer by Ebsery. Osaki, good! Well, she hasn't been shooting well in this tournament, but she knocked that one in. That high pick and roll again. Uh, too deep for uh, Tolo to cover for the jump shot. Ebsery. Boy, what incredible defense, and yet Griffin still got the ball and put it up and she in. She took it right away from Takata, didn't she? Takata had looked like she had it in two hands, took it right out of it. Starting to heat up again. Osaki, and it goes, and Takata this time. Great help defense. Great no call by the rip. And Belinda Snell comes back in for coming. You think Japan will ride Mashida to the end of this game, Jeff, and not bring Fujioka back? Seems to be uh, first choice tonight. Yeah. You better get on Mizushima, that's for sure. Mizushima, another one. Good! That Have you seen right the down. shooting? Six threes in the second half. That I'm not was, sure the Australians have ever seen anything like it. That was under pressure from Griffin, too. There's nothing she could do about that one. Griffin turns. Oh, they don't rebound it. Snelly gets in there, puts it up and in. How about that from the veteran? I tell you, the advantage of getting it in low is they can get some rebounders in there, too. And Snell was there to help out Tolo. Osaki, that's off the front of the rim. And the ball goes off of Ebsery. Jeff, the only reason I think that Fujioka might be an option for Hovas is that she will drop a 15-foot jump shot and Mashida doesn't seem as confident. So I wouldn't be surprised you're, if that's a change he makes. You're desperate to get Monami Fujioka well, back in listen, there, aren't I'm you? I'm just, just thinking coaches through here. What they, what they next year? Australia, fine. They've got their five on the floor that should see them through to the end of this game. Mizushima and Mashida takes it. <laughs> and that's the 15 footer I was telling about. Yep. Hovas is thinking. He is thinking. He is exactly doing just that. He's right on cue. Mizushima's uh, open. Eight seconds on the shot oh, clock. Oh, there's no pick and roll there. They had the switch already. Oh. 
Oh, she tried to make the pass, and Griffin, Australia's do everything uh, forward, comes up with a steal. Oh, the pump fake, Snell! And boy, what a catch from Mashida. 2.15 remaining now. It's white knuckle time, folks. Jeff, we haven't seen an overtime game yet. What do you What do you think? It could happen. The pigeons are flying around yeah, in here. They're getting That's settled. usually a sign. Wow, it's a low oh, it's really low. Too, That's yeah. a bat. That's a bat. And Mashida. Uh oh. Mizushima. <laughs> Nothing but net, but the outside of the net. 153 remaining. Who's going to hit the shot for the Opals? Griffin open. Gives it to Snell. Tolo, she thought about it. Ebsery, back to Tolo. Long jumper from Tolo. Count it! Goodness me. Ice running in her veins to hit that shot. And Hovas calls timeout. Now he, this is the decision he has now. Does he stay with Mashida? Does he bring his top guard in? This is a great play from Ebsery. Tolo just stood her ground. She knew what was coming next. As soon as her defender went down low with the cut from Ebsery. That is what you call having the experience. I mean, she looked cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, absolutely. There's your, your leaders, Mizushima, game for life. God. I really do. I mean, I think she might have uh, played her way into the All-Star 5 tonight with this performance. Griffin is just Griffin. MVP. I can't, I can't see her not being on that team next year at the World Cup. No. I really no, no. can't. I mean, A, she's helped get them there. And B, she's been their best player. That was the three that really uh, signaled uh, how tough a player she is. So Fujioka stays out of the game. It's Nagaoka, Takara, Mizushima, Osaki, and Rui Mashida. Hovas. Well, he's the one that makes the decisions. Snell, Griffin, Tolo, Mansfield, Ebsaru. We don't know what Levy's injury is. She was playing well when she went out. Mizushima for three. Good! It's not possible! Seven three-pointers. Seven in the second half. Well, timeout for Olaf Long now to run something down the other end. Look at this. Mick, I mean, it's you're older The second one off the left-hand dribble as well, Jeff. You're older than me, obviously, so I, you've seen a lot more basketball than I have. Have you ever seen a player come out and hit seven threes? No. Like this in the second half. You know, it's funny, Jeff, because I was reading there was a record set in the under-19 women's where... The Canadian girl hit 10 for the game. So seven and a half. Phenomenal. And and she also got fouled taking a three. And she went to the line and made three free throws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What a game. 28, uh, no, 26 points for Mizushima. 28 the leading in the game for Griffin. Just phenomenal, Jeff. And, you know, look at the style. There's a two-handed flick to it. It's to perfect that two-handed shot doesn't, it takes a lot of work. They are 11 of 25. Australia, 4 of 18 well, from deep. You know, what did, what did Hovas say? We got beaten by the three-pointer in the group game. Now he's, gonna, he's on the verge of winning on the three-pointer. Still a long way to go. The Opals have been in these situations before. It's just that this Opals team has not been in this situation. But a minute and a half is an eternity. So if you're watching down under, and we know you are, no need to panic. Just get yourself a tea or a cold bevy. Sit back and enjoy it. Griffin. So Snell pops out. Gives it. Uh, tries to get it to uh, Griffin. Snell takes a three from the top. It's short for Griffin. And what a break. That I think it was Mizushima failed to rebound. It was either she or Mashida. The ball fell. No. Game and changer And the opportunistic there. Griffin takes it. Kelsey Griffin. See, they're gonna they're gonna get all over Griffin. Now, Mansfield's got to be careful. He doesn't foul here and foul out. Mashida and great D following her all the way in was Tolo. 
Well, where she has been so tough. School. Well, Griffin has to get the touch. She's the one doing all the scoring. She and Tolo. Oh, Palming. Oh. Boy, what a time for a Palming call. And it's not a good call, Jeff, because I think she only dribbled it once. Watch. There's only there's one dribble here. Uh, two maybe. Uh, she dribbled two, but, but this here contact. carry it. She was just a high dribble. Yeah. That's pretty hard on uh, Tolo. That's going to be the well, a three point, of, uh, three pointer will kill this one. And it might be this one. Um, Mizushima yeah. and Tolo steps in front. That's the fourth foul on Australia in this quarter. Three fouls on Tolo. Now, Jeff, uh, Japan will get it to 14. It's a 14 shot clock, so any score will signal timeout for Olaf Long. Nishida gets it back. 12 on the shot clock. The pick comes. Osaki right back at that spot and doesn't get the roll. Takata. Griffin has it. Australia, the clock is winding down. They pass ahead to Tolo. They get it back to Snell. She's going to have to launch it. She takes it. Japan has held on. Shocking, shocking finish to the game. Unbelievable. The Japanese have held on and scraped a 74 73 win over Australia to win the FIBA Women's Asia Cup for the third consecutive time and a new power. Well, let's just say this they've already been a power, but a, a power has just gotten a little bit stronger and a little bit more impressive winning it without Ramu Tokashiki, Asami Yoshida out of the game and also showing the great balance in this team with Fujioka on the bench for the majority of the fourth quarter uh, with uh, Saki Muzima coming out and having the game of her life. The seven three-pointers, what a performance. Australia, they didn't play their best game tonight. And they fall, heartbreaking finish. I don't know, what's your thoughts on that last sequence, Mick? Well, there was a foul. There was a foul, and they will go back and look at that. And you Linda think, Snell was you think fouled. That, you think she was fouled yeah, splitting yeah, yeah, the yeah. defense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would... But is that not a difficult time to call a foul? Is that what the ref is saying? Well, she was sandwiched by two players. So I'm, and she stepped through two players. I just, uh, th there was a good opportunity to call a foul, let the players win it instead of uh, just let it rough ride through. But uh, I think it went uh, south for Australia in that when uh, Mansfield went long to Tolo. You know, from then on, it was mayhem. Yeah. Mansfield might have been better off holding hand, getting down ball down a bit quicker, finding an open uh, player once down there. Tolo was not the option. I feel bad. I do feel bad for Australia. I feel bad for Tolo. Griffin was just immense. And for Snell as well. It's like you say, a difficult situation. I'd have to see it again. But you also have to tip your hat to Japan. They've, they've come out and they've made some plays that they had to make. Jeff, this is phenomenal. Look at this. There's the ball. Here it is. Hand. Okay, the, the last sequence. So Tolo, a little bit of help with Skelter. Now Here's what happens. That's a foul. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough call to make there. I can see how you might call it, but she's she's in a difficult position trying to get some daylight to get a shot off. I'd like to hear what Sandy Brandello thinks. I'm sure she's uh I'm sure you'll get a tweet slammed, in a minute. Jeff slammed her coffee cup down <laughs> and angst. Um, Triple champions, aren't they, Japan now? Three times in a row. They've had to come from nine points down to beat China. Look at these Chinese fans, or these Japanese fans. They had to come from nine points down uh, with five minutes remaining in the semifinal. They did. And here they are. This was uh, Mizushima. Well, you know, I'm going to go back and say something. I don't know that Mizushima is going to make the All-Star 5 because she wasn't great for the whole no, tournament. No, and, and but probably, probably the she magnitude shouldn't do. of the performance. I'll go back to what I said at the beginning, Jeff. When this team makes jump shots, you better watch out. They can win games. I guess it's the same for any team, but you know, especially this Japanese team. I don't think at any time Australia got themselves in a position of comfort.
They got back into the game very easy, and then they looked like in that basket there gave them a two-point lead, but they never moved on from there. It just the whole time Mizushima was their uh, nemesis in the second half. That's where you run the risk if you don't press on that advantage that you've got. You allow them to come back. The game gets shorter, and uh, sure enough. Australia needed to make a play at the end. You're hoping you'll get a shot. You'll hope you're hoping you'll get a foul. It doesn't come. And it's Japan that that get the win. This this person right here is going to be feeded as a as a hero back in Tokyo. This is a team that is building both of these teams in fact building for the 2020 Olympics. Um, we know Japan will be there as the hosts. And that was that was where you said they should have had the foul. The foul wasn't called in Belinda Smell. I'm not convinced. I mean, I'm not saying it was or wasn't, but I think it's a tough. That's a tough. That's a, a tough one to make it to the referee for me. And well, in some ways, it's a game-changing call, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, in some way. Well, look, Saki Mizushima, 26 points. Uh, Seven of nine from three-point range, three of three at the line. Kelsey Griffin couldn't have done anything else. 30 points, 15 rebounds. Yeah, one man Ryder wrecking Nate, crew. I mean, she maybe she's the MVP even crew. in defeat. She yeah, was incredible. Yeah. Um, and uh, Mariona Tolo, who was terrific tonight, 13 points, eight rebounds, four assists. Uh, she had a couple of blocks, a couple of steals. And there's the, the trophy. It's going to be lifted once again, hoisted high in the air by the Japanese. Three times in a row. Can you believe it? And this was supposed to be the year. What kind of what kind of message is this for, for Ramu Tokashiki? I mean, it's like, you don't want to come or you can't come. That's fine. We're OK. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But I'm guessing that she'll be in the team next year. And Jeff, tell me, you, you saw the other two uh, two championships for Japan. I, I'm going to guess they weren't favorites in those two either, were they? Not the first time, but the second time, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, they were they were there or thereabouts. It was pretty close. I mean, uh, China have always been strong, haven't they? Yeah. But this is a different FIBA uh, Women's Asia Cup. It's a different one because obviously Australia and New Zealand are in it, so it's become a lot harder, a lot tougher. You see the trophy, the FIBA Asia Cup trophy. As uh, we will go through the presentations, hope you'll stay with us. This trophy gets presented. My guess, my guess, Ron is going to be out there, uh, the host with the most, with the microphone. Everybody knows my guess. And Tom Hovas is uh, busy shaking hands out of the camera. You can't see him. Uh, not a bad debut for him as the head coach. Oh, outstanding. We spoke to him pre-tournament, didn't we? Just a nice, nice guy, nice gentleman. Great coach as well. His first tournament, Jeff, isn't it? I know he took over the reins as from assistant to head coach. Would this be his first, first major tournament? Yes, it coach? is. It's his first tournament. It's now time for the closing ceremony of the FIBA Women's so, Asia Cup 2017. As always is the case, we start the ceremony we've got teams that are happy with the All-Star Five Awards in a, in a strange situation, offered by China, Kiso. Normally the bronze the medal team will be is uh, by happier than the silver Mr. medal, silver medal winning team, but Kajirian, I think both China and Australia FIBA executive expected director to win this thing. Asia. And it ends up being Japan once again, mm. and under strength Japan, so to speak. So. Once again, a testament to the uh, the growing power it, that is. Ladies Japanese and gentlemen, basketball. here are the All Star Five of so FIBA Women's Asia Cup 2017. At point guard position, player number one from Japan, Manami Fujioka. So Fujioka is going to be on the All Star Five. Uh, her performance really throughout the tournament and especially in the semifinal against. China uh, pretty much cemented that. 
at the position of the shooting guard player number 11 from korea lim young hui so in comes out from korea and i think also this is a an interesting and probably the right uh, selection she played very well nick i think you agree with me at the position of small forward player number oh mayako nagaoka of and japan nagaoka has made it as well so congratulations to nagaoka she had the big 28 point performance against I'm trying to think in of the order, position no? of power forward player number nine Court, from in the Australia, quarter final. michelle griffin kelsey and uh, kelsey griffin who had just the most incredible uh opals debut that you could imagine unbelievable talent at the center i'm happy for her and also feel player bad for her because uh, she deserved China. to be a champion to be honest lee yu ru and, and lee yu ru who's the 18 year old center for china has made the team and i'll tell you what that is vindication uh, for her, I mean, and there's now, no doubt. I would like to ask the players to line up for a team photo. No doubt about it. She's a, a huge talent. So there it is: Fujioka, Griffin, and Lee Yoru, uh, Michael Ladies Nagaoka, and, and M. It is now Young Ui. Now the MVP. The Who is this going to be? Player, the MVP, presented by Piso, to be presented by Mr. Hagop Kajrian. The MVP of FIBA Women's Asia Cup 2017. Player number nine from Australia, Michelle Griffin. And Michelle Kelsey. Griffin has been named the MVP, and I think that is the right decision. Coming into this game, I thought it was uh, Fujioka's to win. Perhaps didn't have quite uh, the explosion uh, today uh, that we anticipated. And this is uh, truly, truly deserving. Yeah, oh, absolutely, Jeff. There's no doubt about it, and it's not often it goes to a losing team either. Fujioka's absence in the second half probably uh, sealed it for um, Griffin, but uh, it's fully deserving. What a great fight that is! I'm really, I'm really ha happy. I, I almost think that Mizushima deserves a spot on the All Star Five for her performance tonight. Uh, I think it's maybe the greatest the second half shooting performance I've ever seen yeah. in international it's basketball. I've got a tweet from, uh, sorry, a message from our fellow commentator Mark Clark, and it was just one word, wow. Yeah, it's just incredible. I presume he's talking about the game. I think he's talking about your commentary. <laughs> so there is uh, Kelsey Griffin. And she goes off. So, in the FIBA, now the uh, medals will be awarded. Is team China. And Team China will come out to get the bronze. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Team China. Team captain, Xiao Ting. So, interesting. Melanie Griff, uh, Griffin, Kelsey Griffin Shen gets Yi, Xi Feng. the MVP. Chen Xiao Xia. And you go back and look at some of the highlights of her, and you'll understand why. She was uh, dynamic. Now for China. Talk about this China team, Mick. Interesting, Jeff, because, you know, I was all over them until the semifinal when the coach left out Li Yeru. And, and then you realize there's, a, there's an element of ordinariness about them without the big uh, young China China girl from China the 18 year old when she's in the game they are world-class when she's not in the game they're a little ordinary and, and that's something they've got to go back and solve maybe a couple of players to come in but they're solid with uh, Li Yuru in there they are definitely up there and the big and again by Li Yuru making the all-star five it just begs the question why did the coach sit her down for practically yeah. the entire first half who knows yesterday who knows? against japan you know there's only one person does know that i'm sure yao wants to know he'll probably find out are they on the wrong rostrum i think they are actually unless they're all going to go to the middle rostrum. i think so photographs first then we'll get to the uh the right
how good can they be next year at the World Cup China. Yeah good. You know I, I love Huang Huang Xi Ying. Uh, Xi Jing and I love uh, Li Yuru. I love Li Meng. Great players. Good. Uh, they've got to find some players around those three. And I think that's important for this team. There's, there's combinations in there that don't look as uh, as as tough. I mean to find a player like uh, Li Yeru is just uh, a big plus for China. That's that's them going forward for the next 10, 12 years in terms of uh, powerhouse. As long as they don't over over. I think Michelle Tim's assistant coach is talking about whether they overwork him in terms of the practice hours they get through as he's young, up and coming. Thank you. True big two, true back to the basket player. Uh, Shen, the point guard, did great. Remember, this China team uh, lost Chen Jiaojia right before the start of the tournament with a broken finger. That didn't help them at all. Uh, but they bounced back, I think, pretty nicely after their Olympic disappointment last year in Rio de Janeiro, where they didn't get to the quarterfinals. The silver medalist of the FIBA Women's Asia Cup 2017. So Australia Steve will come out. Uh, not a bad uh, accomplishment for them Ladies getting, let's team first of all, getting to the podium team and losing just Diana once Toto. on their femin, fi, uh, FIBA Texas Women's Levy. Asia Cup Alana debut. Uh, they just Stephanie really Cummings. faced the test today. It's perhaps tough to beat a team twice. Laura and a tournament Hodges. as good as Japan. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point, Jeff. Great point. You know what? Um, he, he, nobody Lucas. likes to lose. But sometimes losing makes you Ed go Coach. back and reevaluate a little Chamber. more, maybe. But if they oh, come here and won, they said, well, you know, we're top four in the world, and you know, that's what we expect. Now, you go back and think, okay, we need to make adjustments. And, and I love that the reevaluation, the self audit of this team. Where do we go wrong in this final? What happened? Why didn't we get into a rhythm? enough of the time during the game they get they showed their grit as they always will this team but there was elements they got completely put out of their comfort zone in certain areas and now it is time to present and they the got the light shot out of them which yeah, they, they did, did to japan the in the group game Australia. so in some ways what comes around goes around yeah. president of the basketball federation of india but Jeff, you can't fault it. I mean, this is a great team. And uh, when they get to the World Championships, how many of this team will be in that team? Because uh, the places will be up for grabs. I think Tolo will be in there. Definitely. Yeah. I think Alana Smith has a great shot. I'm not sure about Griffin, though. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think uh, just go ahead and write her name in there. But, you know, <laughs> as a naturalized player, yeah. uh, that could be an interesting uh, decision. Although, I don't know how, many, how often Australia played with a naturalized. Ebsuri, Ebsuri, I thought, did herself some credit in this tournament. Uh, Blitzhouse was great until today. You didn't see much of her. Mansfield, before Shane today, Sullivan I would have said, yeah, she's President looking pretty good. Asia. I think she and, and Levy will Mark be in the mix. For sports, um, obviously, a lot in Ladies coming and as well. And Garrett, a lot will Your depend on how the these players play uh, in the coming season. And then what type of camp that they have. So Sami Yoshida uh, wasn't able to play uh, today uh, because of injury. Wasn't able to play Asami really Yoshida. against Japan either. So, and I think, you know, if uh, anybody deserves credit for Japan, it's Coach Tom Hovas, who has really helped raise uh, the performance level of this team as an assistant coach over the years, but it was his offense. Um, he's been promoted. He's liked what he's seen in terms of selection. He brought in Mizushima, a player that was never selected before. Uh, she ended up winning the game for him today. So, also, he read the situation. He read, you know, the temptation would have been for Fujioka to come back in the game, uh, but he sized it up. He's like, you know what? She's not turning on all cylinders like she was last night. There he is. So in the end, he might just be the MVP of this J Japan team. I mean, he's <laughs> a good point. You know, the players win it, but he clearly had a good feel for for not only selection for the team, and he's he's gotten the best the out of this team. The style, how they play fast, they play quick. 
And Sheikh Saad bin Ali Al Thani, the president of FIBA Asia, is here also to uh, present now the trophy, I believe it is. So here is Japan. And we're going to rise to hear the uh, national anthem of Japan. So the custom now the trophy from the FIBA Asia president Asia Cup 2017 to Team Japan. Be presented to Asami Yoshida. Like to Asami and Yoshida uh, she will now lift it. I'm guessing it. probably all get together and lift it. There's Tom Havas. Boy, what a proud moment for him. And what about what about Japanese basketball, folks? Wonder what the men are going to do this year. Kudo Lamas now coaching the men. That'll be in Beirut very, very soon. We'll be there for that. That'll be exciting. We hope that you uh, watch that. Ladies and gentlemen, our champions, and three times. There they go. They Japan. raise it to the sky. And uh, all credit to Japan. I think they're getting used to this, don't you? Well, as usual, uh, it's been wonderful covering international basketball. Doesn't matter whether it's in Europe, uh, the Americas, Africa, or Asia. Uh, when the players uh, put on the national team shirt, there's no better feeling in the world for them, and there's no more important team for the fans than the national team. And yes, you can. Uh, find universal agreement in that sentiment uh, from everybody uh, that's been here. So congratulations to Japan and make any closing thoughts from you? No, it's been a pleasure, Jeff. Absolute pleasure being here, seeing these uh, last two days has uh, been uh, absolutely, uh, you wouldn't have missed it for the world, would you? It's been uh, some great games, seeing India win Division B, seeing Japan win last night and tonight, seeing the rise of some great Australian young players. It's been uh, truly, uh, truly phenomenal. And the rise of some great Japanese players as well. <laughs> Mizushima, especially tonight, hitting the seven threes and, and making sure Japan got over the finish line. It was quite something. So just a, a remarkable, remarkable performance uh, for Japan. Thanks to all the teams that came. Uh, not everybody can reach the podium. We know that a lot of effort goes into this uh, for all the teams, but that's what it's all about. And uh, as a reminder, the four teams that have made it to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup next year in Spain from Asia. Korea, who finished fourth. China, who finished third. Australia, who finished second. And Japan, who for the third consecutive time at the FIBA Women's Asia Cup have finished first. They have won the title. How about that for a hat trick? So thanks for watching, everybody. I think that we're probably uh, going to be leaving soon. I know uh, a lot of people have some flights to catch to get back home. Some of us have to go further than others. You're going a long way, aren't you? You're going all the way to Canada. I'll be heading back to Spain. The Chinese, well, they'll be heading back to China. The J Japanese, they'll be going back to a big celebration back in Tokyo. 
Um, the Australians, they've got a long trip home, going back to Australia. I'm, I'm guessing uh, that both, I know that New Zealand are excited to be in this competition, and uh, Australia are as well, getting a medal at the first attempt. And the Japanese fans are the ones that are gonna leave the happiest. So three times in a row for Japan, and something tells me these uh, these young ladies and Coach Hovas and their fans aren't going to be getting too much sleep tonight. So from for Mick Bet, for everybody here, we would just like to say one thing: Sayonara. こんばんは、水島咲希です。本日の配信はいかがだったでしょうか。3連覇がかかったプレッシャーの中で各試合いろんな選手が活躍しチーム一丸となって優勝できた大会でした。ワールドカップの注目ポイントは延長でセリカッ